All right, there here is a another recording of Confession of an Adulterer, and this is an interesting one. It's from Tell Me Pass, who said, I'm embarrassed, dear Pass, I'm embarrassed or something, but I know that I can write to you. I'm 24, I'm in what you call a steady relationship. Well, we'll put quote unquote around the last, the last two words. I suspect my boyfriend was being unfaithful to me. He changed pat pattern business to me, I asked him about it. He said that he had no for me to worry about. He was tied on work, he's a security guard, and I work with the government. When I didn't see him, I made sure I called him before going to bed. And basically, she was just doing, sounding like an obsessive star uh, control freak right here. All right. And now the irony, while she is worried about her boyfriend's cheating, here's the little thing. Um, here's the last part of the paragraph that has... Um, um, the part that is just very terrible a character said I was true to him for a while but I had sex three times with two different men that's because I was lonely and these guys worked in the same department at me used protection so I thought I was safe one day I felt itching around my pubic area and itching continued so I went to the doctor and told me I had pubic lice and yeah that's disgusting and nasty when they were talking about it but all right, and then she goes on to say that she went with her other lovers who gave her this this infection and then basically she well in regards to her boyfriend she uh, um, she was basically trying to hide her indiscretions and whatever and then uh, and basically she's also suffered from crabs and on I, I, I think it's indicated that she um, indicate that either she got it from her boyfriend or from her other lovers right. and then recently my boyfriend asked me if I wanted to play the same game or we exempt each other and I basically said she didn't want to give herself away because he'd be wondering how come she has these infections because he'd be saying surely I did not give it to her and so basically her situation is that she's got an infection and she's just on this, on this thing where she is trying to just she doesn't trust her boyfriend because uh, she's supposed she's been cheating on her, but then she's been cheating on him too. So basically, she does. Um, she played stupid games and got the stupid prize. So that's basically it. Now, all I can say is that if she had issues with her boyfriend or trust issues, she could have asked me he, whether or not his truth would probably deny it or else. Probably got something to follow him on, got some proof that he was cheating before doing these things. But it's indicated that probably either she was get she cheated on him either because she won she wanna get back at him or she's basically she was just she was accusing him of doing something that she was doing all along. Cause people who get jealous and possessive about the other part and stepping on them, turns out a lot they're doing the same thing too and they're just projecting what their indiscretions on that partner. And she sounds like one of those people, so all I can say is that don't feel sorry for her. Now, if the boyfriend's cheating on her, she should have just gotten proof and then just broke it off with him. But the fact that she was just going on with two different people, or rather than just breaking up with him if she had so adamant that he was unfaithful to her, sounds like she's no better or even worse than he is. So, all I can say, she made her bed and laid in it too, and... And so on, because obviously this relationship is not meant built a foundation of trust, and more likely the truth is going to come out. So, if she was cheating her at the same time, that's karma. If it turns out he wasn't, and she did that, he deserves a better woman than she, than her. That's pretty much all I have to say. But this is for State of Jamaica and Caribbean. Check them out on YouTube pages. Miles Gustafson, Miles Productions, and Real Thoughts of Miles. Okay.